the questions I get a lot from first time house home buyers is how can I compete uh, in the market with people who are paying cash or who are investors or who are downsizing? And while there's not a straightforward answer, there are a couple things that we can do as we work together to find you a home. Uh, the first step in the process is that we would sit down together and talk about what your goals are. Is this a, a property you're gonna own for a couple of years? Do you want it to become a rental? Um, is it something you could stay in longer term if something ha happened in the economy or to your job, or if one of you decided to stay home if you had kids? So we talk about those sort of financial goals. Then we talk about the kind of things that you're looking for in a home. Does it need to be a detached home? Could you work in a townhouse? Um, how about a condominium? There are reasons that all of those houses make sense for different types of buyers, and so we would help to refine what it is you're looking for. Once we know what you're looking for and we've identified the communities that make sense, one of the key things you can do in competing for a house is make sure you get out there and see the houses. And that sounds really simple, but if you work in downtown DC and you're looking at a house in Ashburn and it comes on the market at 3.30 on a Thursday afternoon, getting out to look at it means maybe coming straight from work on Thursday evening or going in late or coming out to Ashburn at lunch. So those are all things that you have to take into consideration. Keep in mind, it's a very short period of time that you're looking for a house if you're lucky. And so you make these sacrifices, hopefully, so you end up with the house that you really, really want and, and that meets your needs. Um, while it's almost impossible for first time buyers to compete with investors when it comes to the financials, that doesn't mean that a seller is always going to pick an investor over a first time buyer. Um, some people have a sentimental attachment to their home and they just don't want to sell it to an investor. You know, whether that makes sense for them or not, not my call. If I'm not the selling agent, I don't really need to weigh in on that. My, my job as the buyer's agent is to make sure that you are positioned as well as you can be. That means finding out what's important to the sellers and making sure that our contract reflects that. Um, I, I make sure that you have talked to a really well-respected lender and gotten pre-approved prior to ever stepping door and stepping foot inside a house. That's just critical because if you do step inside a house and you know that it's the one, I want you to be able to write a contract immediately and not be delayed by getting a pre-approval when we could have done that prior to looking. So that's a really important part of the process. Um, Beyond that, a lot of it's timing, it's being responsive, it's making sure that you are always putting your best foot forward. So while it might feel like it's the time for you to negotiate, sometimes you need to understand that if a house is priced fairly, paying the fair price is, is the way to go. And in fact, what we're seeing right now are people paying over asking. So people are um, seeing the, the price that the, the listing agent and the seller are setting, and then they're paying more than that so that they can win the sale. My job is to help you understand if that makes sense for each house that you look at and to put together a strategy to help you win that house. Um, you know, not every house is the house that you should buy. And if I feel like you're extending yourself in a way that's going to make you uncomfortable in the long run, I'm going to tell you that too. So there is a little bit of people getting caught up in all of the competition and feeling like they need to win. But, but what's really important is to make sure that at the end of the day, if you are in a competitive situation or if you're not in a competitive situation, that you get the house that's right. That you get the house that makes the most sense for your financial situation and that you get a house that you can love. I'd love to sit down to, with you and talk about different strategies that we can employ to get you into the house of your dreams.